All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to turn a boring backyard space into a beautiful paver patio. Let's go. One of the things you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a tool like this, and this is really gonna help you with the outline of where you're gonna dig. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is basically use this to go ahead and go down like this and basically make my outline where I'm gonna dig and then just pull it out. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel. Thank you. A good idea is if you have good grass where you're digging, the area that you're digging, you have good grass and you need it for other areas, you can just cut it in little squares like this, like I'm doing and then go ahead and place it in the area that you need it. So basically that's what we're gonna do throughout this whole area here. Make them into little squares like this. And if there's good grass that we need it for other areas, we'll go ahead and use that for other areas. basically how I'm doing this in little squares just digging up the top grass and then pulling that grass out and I have a real battle here this grass is good in the area that you're pulling out you can always use that grass for other areas that you have in your yard that uh, might need the grass but as you can see we're gonna be digging this in little sections until the grass the top grass is all gone Go, go pop some dirt. Go, one hand over there, there you go. Come on. Go. There you go, right in the wheelbarrow now. Come on. Right in the wheelbarrow. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, good job. So here we have what we did today. I went a little further and I went over to uh, where the evergreens are. So I made it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna have to go back to the hardware store and get more pavers and we're gonna go and dig a little bit more than this, not too much, and flatten out the uh, dirt here as much as we can so we have a nice base. This here in the middle, 
I'm gonna leave this. That's the other section I did. So I'm gonna leave like, you know, almost like a um, landscape um, island kind of thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move over here and uh, do the pavers. I've been removing a lot of dirt here, a lot of wheelbarrows full of dirt out of here. So even something like this is, you know, it's not that difficult to do, but it requires a little bit of uh, hard work and labor. So the dirt that's getting removed from here, I'm uh, loading it up on a wheelbarrow, and then I'm coming up this pathway here, all the way up. You can see I gotta go through this tree, and then I gotta go all the way up this ramp here, this slope, which is not easy. You can see the wheelbarrow marks quite a workout not every yard is flat and then I'm coming over here all the way to the top where by the way I have the barbecue grill that we put together and then I'm coming this way and what I'm doing is I'm putting the dirt here and I already uh, leveled the dirt right here this was like a little indentation that's been leveled you don't think there's a lot of dirt here but there is and I'm just using that dirt to level it off where that indentation is right there on that tree uh, as much as much as I can so two things you can do when you're doing a project sometimes what remains from that project can be used for something else as you can see it's been raining here and um, there is no puddle here the water doesn't pool here there's good drainage Stop over there, I'm gonna get the knife to cut it. <laughs> Yay! Can I roll Hey, roll it that way. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it! Yay! Hey! Yay! Yay! Oh, you guys didn't do a good job over here. So your base is really the foundation for these pavers, so you want to make sure that you have the right material that's going to drain well and that's going to hold up well. So here I went to Lowe's and I bought step one which was the base material and then step two which was the uh, paver sand. And it's important that you use paver sand and not anything else. Later on in the video you're going to see that I'm going to use a little bit of multi sand. That's because they ran out of material and really I just used a little bit underneath the uh, paver but you really want to use the right materials and if you do, this is going to last you for a long time.
over here. Ready? Okay. Hey, Go, come on, come on. Get up here. Hold it, get in here. Go. Go.
you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a comment, put a like, and subscribe. So now here at the edge, and then along the edge, what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these anchoring spikes. What so, anchoring spikes? So this edge can stay in place and not allow the uh, pavers to move. <laughs> so I'm doing every other one here. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a comment, put a like, and subscribe.